Hey guys, so today I'm doing this video because it's very easy, very fast, and very affordable. I'm only using drugstore products that really work for me and I highly recommend. So watch this video if you guys want to see what those are. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys like it. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. So first off, I'm going to start off with some primer. I have the NYX Hashtag No Filter Primer. I'm going to put that all over my face. I really like this primer because it makes your skin feel like really um, like even. So that's why I like it. It also has a little bit of a tint. And then for my foundation, I have the Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour from L'Oreal. And I just put a little bit on my hand. I don't put a lot since I am going to go in with concealer and I feel like concealer, I feel like it does more. Sometimes I don't even wear foundation, but since it's like Valentine's Day, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit extra. So I'm actually watching Parks and Rec right now. It's so funny. Um, and I just got to the episode of Valentine's Day and I was like, oh, so this is where it comes from. Like I'm all late to the game. I'm barely watching Parks and Rec. Anyway, so going in with my concealer, I have the Eraser Instant H Rewind from Maybelline. So this is one of my favorite concealers. I've actually used it in other videos. And it's just really easy to blend and it doesn't look cakey at all. Um, I use this in the color Light Pale and on any blemishes or anything like that, I go in with a color that matches a little bit more my foundation and my skin. So I go in with this one in the color Sand and right here I just have like a little blemish and some scarring. So this is why I don't put a lot of foundation on just because I go heavy on the concealer because um, I love this concealer and then we're gonna go in with my beauty blender and I grab my elf makeup mist and set and spray that a little bit so it's easier to blend and use and then I just go ahead and blend all of them I forgot to say that for my foundation I use my hands because I feel like it distributes better for this foundation than fallible the foundation is just kind of like a cream consistency so it lays on really well with your hands but this concealer you could also do it with your hands but it does blend really well with the beauty blender and these beauty blenders are not the actual beauty blenders since this is an affordable um, drugstore makeup look um, I just get these like at TJ Maxx. So once the concealer is blended, I'm going to go ahead and just set my face with the Sheer Tint Finishing Powder from e.l.f. I barely got this. It's really nice. It's like a tinted foundation because it does have color. It's not sheer. What's also nice about this one is that, you know, you put it on with the brush and you just keep on blending because blending is very important <laughs> once you're finished with that with the foundation and everything um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows because they're non-existent and I just feel like it's not going anywhere if I don't do my eyebrows first so I'm just gonna grab a spoolie brush and brush them up so it looks like I actually have a little bit of something and then this also takes off the foundation that got on your um, eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow pencil. This is also an e.l.f. product. This is the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the color Neutral Brown. It's a really good alternative to like something from Sephora that could be probably more expensive. I think they're like five dollars. Five to eight dollars and um, they work really well so I recommend. So what I'm gonna do is just draw a light line to frame my eyebrows and see what I have and then I just go in with like little strokes up love this eyebrow pencil it makes it really easy to work with and I do recommend a lot so I'm done with this product for my eyebrows the next thing I do for my eyebrows is go in with another elf product because it's so cheap they, it works really well and this is just the brow wow and this just kind of blends it all in and gives it a little bit of tint. 
these two combined are the best because this just kind of fluffs them up and um, also blends all of it in. So once the eyebrows are done, I'm going to go in with my eyes now. So I'm working my way down. So I'm going to go with an e.l.f. made for matte palette. And it looks like this. It's really nice. It has a lot of colors. And then it has neutrals. I am going to only be using the neutral colors on this look. Because I am going to go in with a really bold red lip. So I don't want to overdo it on the eyes. So what I'm doing is I'm picking out this really light shade and putting it all over my eyelid. If I want to confess something, this is actually the second time I filmed this video. The first time half of the footage got erased because I made a mistake. I thought they had transferred to my laptop su successfully. And so I was like, oh, let me erase them from my SD card. Like they're already saved in my laptop. It wasn't. So now I'm using the second shade, this like beige color, and just putting it on my crease. So I feel like eye makeup looks are hard for me because I feel like my eyelid is so small. And when I see these makeup tutorials, like everybody has like nice big eyes with big eyelids. And they could do like freaking four layers of color. And I'm like, how do you guys do that but it's because my eyelid is so small okay so once you're done with that don't forget to put a little bit of that same eyeshadow on your bottom um, eye line just so it can like connect and give your bottom eyelash some dimension okay so once that's done I am just gonna go ahead and do a winged eyeliner Next up, I'm going with this NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Again, it's very cheap, very inexpensive, and it's one of my favorites. So anyway, the easiest way to put on eyeliner for me is starting from the corners of your eyes and putting like a line and then connecting it together. Um, that way you could control your flick. And then I go into my inner corner and then just connect it. For the next eye, you just try to match your flick. You know, sometimes they don't look identical, but you you try. <laughs> okay, so I think that's good enough for me. <laughs> um, if you're better at winged eyeliner, props to you because it's very hard. <laughs> um, so next up, I'm going to wait on my... Uh, mascara because I want my eyeliner to dry off. I am gonna go in with the blush and all of that. The blush, my go-to blush, my favorite blush of all time. Um, if I had to recommend anything would be this blush that I've used forever and I, I swear I use it all the time and it just hasn't run out. It's this Milani Carolina Big Powder Brush. A blush not brush and I'm just gonna go in with a little bit because this does give off a lot of pigmentation it's very nice um, yeah and let me stop talking about it because I love this blush put some on your nose because you know it makes you look like cute and supposedly that's where you know the Sun hits your face and you look sun-kissed and nice so talking about sun kiss you do want to look a little bit bronzed because we're barely in February. The sun is barely starting to come back up again. Um, I'm dying for it to come back because I am over the winter. So I'm going to go in with this Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in the color Sunlight. I feel like this bronzer is really nice because it's very buildable. So if you just want a little bit of like bronzing, it's very nice. But if you put on like more layers, you could look like a sun-kissed god. And put some on the side of my nose for a little contouring of the nose. So I'm going to go in with some eyeliner because... Um, I feel like it needs a little shush. I am going to use the Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil in the color black. I'm going to put that on my waterline. I'm going to go ahead and dilute it a little bit with um, the one I was using for eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline The Colossal Mascara. 
This is a very good mascara. It's waterproof. So, you know, maybe your boyfriend gives you like a really cute gift and it just makes you feel all the feels and you just start crying, then this is good for you. Hopefully you're happy crying and not sad crying because, you know, it's Valentine's Day and I wish you guys all the best. Only happy tears. So I am not using falsies because um, nobody has time for that. I am trying to do this as quickly as possible and a realistic makeup tutorial does not put on fake eyelashes because they're so hard. Like I would literally cry because if I put on fake eyelashes right now because I would be so frustrated. Okay, so the eyes are officially done. Yay! And let me see what else I need. Okay, so the next thing I need is my trusty highlighter in the color Golden Flower from the brand Wet n Wild. So I'm going to just put a little bit of this on the tip of my nose and on my cheekbone. I feel like a princess every time I put some in my tip of my nose just because it's like so dainty. <laughs> so the final steps are to line your lips and put on some red lipstick. So I'm going to line my lips with this color sensational lip liner in the color red. And I know it's looking a little crazy, but this e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick has so much pigment. It's so nice. It's in the color Red Vixen. And it was like three bucks, I swear. I tried it out the other day, the first time I did this makeup tutorial. And it was so nice. It dried up nicely. It wasn't sticky. It wasn't dry. Um, when you eat, though, it like does give you that weird line but I mean you could just reapply so it's not that big of a deal but it's really nice look look how red it is so this lipstick just has a really nice applicator like it has the like tip and then it also has like a flat end which you could just kind of like swift it around your lips it's really nice so I'm all done with my makeup like it just works like it's nice and wear a red shirt or like a pink dress and you're gonna look so feminine so cute so lastly I'm just gonna go in with my elf mist and set and put this all over my face let it dry And you're done with the makeup. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with my hair. I would leave these clips if you don't have time for your hair. So what I'm going to do with my hair is really simple. I don't have a lot of time. So I'm just going to go ahead and part my hair. I love doing um half up, half down hairstyles because I feel like it just looks very feminine. Like you still have your hair down looking sexy. But you also look put together um, because it's like up, you know, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth this out and I do like leaving some hair in the front because I like it to frame my face and I have a lot of baby hairs so it just kind of looks like it's done on purpose instead of like having just like random little baby hairs and I'm gonna go ahead and grab it with and elastic once you have your half pony then you just go ahead and shush it up like grab the ends and kind of pull them through so you have like a more dimensional half of half up do it also helps if you guys tease it but my hair is pretty manageable so I just kind of grab the ends and pull them and to finish it off, I just grabbed a really cute ribbon. I got this one from the Dollar Tree, so it just looks like this. It's very cute. And I'm going to go ahead and tie it around my elastic. And you're all set. You're all set for Valentine's Day, for Galentine's Day, for just a loving yourself day. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you guys did. Subscribe and I love you guys very much. Whatever you guys do, if you guys don't believe in this holiday, um, either way, I hope you guys always spread love. Spread love to yourself. Remember that you should love yourself first all the time. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!